Good morning everybody and welcome back to another War Thunder video. I'm sorry I've taken so long to do another video, but I have truly been absolutely rushed off of my feet. I've had work, My one of my siblings um, had his wisdom teeth removed and so had a week off and spent the entire time hogging the PS4 playing Fortnite. So unfortunately I haven't been able to get much of a look in regards to War Thunder and certainly not making content, so I'm sorry about that. Today, however, we're going to be taking a look at the T55A. This is going to be another one of my discussion videos. And as such, I'm going to pro, you know, speak my mind, provide my own little bits of information and insights, and then allow you to discuss it in the comments or on the comments on Reddit or wherever else this video may end up. So the topic for today is the T55A. Now, the T55A is, all things considered, a reasonably new addition to War Thunder, to the uh, Soviet Ground Forces tech tree. It was added after the T62A. But here's the thing, I don't believe the, T the T55A is actually worth having in the game at its current state, or at the very least it's not worth playing, I think that's more of a fair term. It does deserve to be in the game. Hell, the T55A was one of, if not the most mass-produced main battle tank in the world. They still see service to this day, granted in modified variants, but they are still around and most Middle Eastern countries use them in one form or another. So why do I think this? It's quite simple really. The T55A is not as good as the T62. There was a post on Reddit, I don't know, about a week or so ago, and a bunch of guys were, they basically asked one of the developers, one of the admins on the Reddit, to discuss the T55A. And said admin decided to open this up, you know, open the floor to anybody who saw it and comment on it comment on it. And I said that the T55A is not competitive at 8.7. Not really. Sure, it can kick, it can get kills, but in my opinion, the T62 is the more valid option. Given the way that the matchmaking is currently working, if you take out the T62, you're more likely to get down-tiered than you are to get up-tiered, or at least that's what I've been experiencing. Whereas the T55A, being that battle rating 8.7, tends to get dragged into 9.0 matches, if not higher. Which means you can fight the Abrams, being an 8.7. This is bad news, quite frankly. I'm not saying that the T55A cannot kill the Abrams. It certainly can. But it's going to take a lot of skill. And the T62 is lower, lower profile, smaller target, harder to hit, harder to see at range. The gun is more powerful, 115mm. It gets Sabo as standard. Fin stabilized Sabo, that is. The T55A does not. The T55 does get an APHE round, or APHEBC, whichever it is. But this round is not particularly useful from the front against any vehicle you will be fighting, with the exception of the Leopards. And even then, I would much rather use Sabo, personally. That round is only really any good for penetrating the sides of vehicles, which will mean that you need to rely on your mobility which you don't really have. As far as mobility goes, the T55A and the T62 are very similar to one another. Both are roughly about the same speed, same inclination, and so on. Here we have the T55's, T55A's stat sheet, battle rating of 8.7. It gets more rounds, but the T62 has better gun depression. Now, obviously it's not quite as simple as I'm making it out to be. I am simplifying this for the sake of a shorter video. I'll be honest about that. There is another issue that I've neglected to mention up until now, which thankfully I've just remembered. Well done me. If you look very carefully, the gun sight does not quite line up with the white circle that you use to aim said turret and gun sight in the first place. This may sound and look like a very minor thing, but I actually have had this get me killed before. I've aimed at a target, put the white circle over it because I know it's less than a thousand meters away, and the gun sight on the T55A with the fin stabilized saber round is calibrated to basically just point and click at that sort of range. You know, there are exceptions, but generally speaking, that's how it should work. But because the white circle does not line up in the center of the gun sight, the gun sight's actually slightly higher up, nine times out of ten, your shell will go sailing over the top of the tank, and all you've just achieved in doing is revealing your position. The enemy tank will then swing his gun around, point it at you, and because you have no effective armor, he will punch straight through the front of your tank, 
knock you out in one shot and send you back to the hangar with nothing more than a repair bill and a very unhappy personality. Alright Red, so you've done your bitching, you've made your point, more or less. How would you predict to solve it? Well that's quite simple. The T-62M has been confirmed to be added to the game, though we have no idea when yet. If you want more information on that, go to my upcoming content video that I did about a week ago. The T-55, uh, T-62M, sorry, is basically the same as the T-62M, although it gets the ability to fire ATGMs, and has, and this is the important bit, reactive armour. Mounted on the tank, you know, as a modification. For Soviet tanks, the M after the name usually denotes modernised. For example, another you know uh, another version of this we have in the game is the Su-85M, which in and of itself is a modernised version of the Su-85. The T-62M is simply a modernised version of the T-62. There were versions, although off the top of my head I can't remember the names, but it's a simple matter of googling them. The T of of the T-55 that had these upgraded armour packages. If the T-55 was to be added with one of those, then it may be more of a valid option to use at its tier. The other option would be to lower its BR and put it with the T-62, perhaps in the same bracket. So that way, even though the T-62, in my opinion, still would have the upper hand, they have the same battle rating, which means you can pretty much choose whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Now there are going to be people who would argue that this would be unfair, there being another Soviet medium tank or main battle tank at 8.0, and that is entirely a valid point. But it needs to be said that, in my opinion, the T-55A is not getting played out as much as it should. For a tank as renowned as this thing actually is in real life, it should be getting a lot more... How can I say? A lot more of a appearance than it actually is. Naturally, all of these opinions and stuff that I've given you are subject to change. We do not know which BR the T-62M is going to come into the game with. I'm assuming it's going to be between the T-62 and the T-55. It's going to go in between the two. Or there is possible, it is possible that the T-62 and the T-62M will get put into a folder together. So if you want to get the T-62 but skip the M version, then you can do that. Um, I do not think it's going to be a modification, I do not think it's going to be an upgrade, because they said that the model for the tank is finished, which makes me believe that it's not going to be added as an upgrade like it was for the BMP, it is actually going to be its own tank. There are debates for and against this, but in the case of the T-62M, as it gets a gun slash launcher, not just the armour, I think it's actually worth grinding out a tank for that. There was also the possibility that the T-62M's introduction into the game will mean that the T-55A may get down-tiered. Who knows? We'll have to see. Um, it really does depend on what Gaijin decide to do in their infinite wisdom, and we know how infinitely wise Gaijin can be at the best of times. That's about it for this video, really. Um, I just thought I'd give you this little vo viewpoint, you know, kickstart a bit of a discussion or an argument but uh, we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this, do you think the T-55A is competitive? If yes, brilliant, why? If not, okay, what would you suggest to make it more competitive at its current level? Thank you very much, Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next Warfunder video. Cheers!